<laughs> Benadryl comes on stronger. It's being abused in this challenge for its side effects, which in turn are harming and killing young people. There's a reason TikTok is probably the most popular app in the world right now. It's easy to use and always seems to know exactly what I want to see. From funny videos to TikToks explaining the meaning of life, there is literally something for everyone. But that's not always a good thing. TikTok has had a number of scandals in the few years it's been around. Like, do you guys remember that Tide Pod challenge? Well, today we're gonna take a look at a deadly TikTok trend that caused life-changing injuries to at least four teenagers and actually ended the life of a 15-year-old girl. If you're like me and get the worst allergies during the summer, you've probably heard of Benadryl. Benadryl comes on stronger. Benadryl is an easy to get allergy medication. One of the biggest side effects of Benadryl is feeling sleepy, and in the past it has been used to treat insomnia. Although, someone figured out that if you take enough Benadryl, then it can make you hallucinate. <laughs> However, getting to that level is dangerously close to the level that can cause someone to overdose. Overdosing on Benadryl can cause seizures and long-lasting side effects, including the risk of heart attacks and brain damage. These risks weren't enough to scare some teens from taking too much Benadryl, hoping to hallucinate, and this became known as the Benadryl Challenge. It's being abused in this challenge for its side effects, which in turn are harming and killing young people. It wasn't just some random people on TikTok trying this. Taking Benadryl to hallucinate has been promoted by some pretty big influencers. Back in 2018, Tana Mojo posted a story time video about a time she had taken reckless doses of Benadryl, saying that it was just like taking acid. And the effects of that are literally similar or identical to that of LSD or acid. Even though she faced backlash for the video and the dangerous message she was promoting, the video can still be watched on her channel to this day. Luckily for Tana, she didn't seem to have a bad reaction or any long-term health problems from her Benadryl experience, but I have to let you guys know this isn't always the case. At least three teens to take part in the Benadryl challenge have ended up being hospitalized. One of them was Rebecca. She took 14 tablets of Benadryl when the recommended dose for someone her age is two at the most and had to be rushed to the emergency room. According According to her mom, Rebecca had a resting heart rate of 199, had hallucinations, and couldn't speak properly. Luckily, after a night at the hospital, Rebecca and two other teens survived their overdoses and haven't had any long-term side effects. After this, things changed for the worse, and a dumb TikTok game became more serious than anyone could have imagined. Chloe Marie Phillips was raised in Blanchard, Oklahoma. She was a high school sophomore that loved to dance, play video games, and had dreams of becoming a lawyer. On August 21st of this year, less than a month after she turned 15, Chloe tragically passed away from a Benadryl overdose. Chloe's death was a huge shock to her friends and family, not just because she was so young and healthy when she passed, but because of the nature of her passing. At first, no one could understand what would make a happy, smart girl like Chloe take a Benadryl overdose. When her family discovered she'd taken the overdose as part of a TikTok challenge, their first thought was to educate parents and hopefully save lives. In a Facebook post, Chloe's great aunt wrote that parents should never say it can't happen to you. The children say the other person was fine, so I'm fine. Always try to know what your children are doing. Since Chloe passed away, TikTok has stated that they're carefully monitoring the Benadryl challenge hashtags to make sure that their users are safe. In a statement, they said they are actively removing content that violates our guidelines and blocking related hashtags to further discourage participation. A statement has also been made by Johnson & Johnson, the company that created Benadryl. In their statement, they said that the Benadryl challenge has to stop now. They're working hard to make sure there isn't any content online promoting the challenge and they have been working with TikTok to stop the this dangerous trend. The hype around the Benadryl challenge seems to have fizzled out, and I'm really glad that it has. It's so sad to see what something so dumb can do to people, especially taking the lives of teens who haven't even had a real chance to live yet. Please never ever try this at home. If you're worried that someone you know is thinking about trying the Benadryl challenge, you should tell a trusted adult so they don't accidentally hurt themselves like Rebecca or Chloe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to read your comments about this. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future content. Bye!